William, we got some breaking news here. Happy 4th of July to everybody. Eric Olson has provided some fireworks for Buff Nation here on Independence Day, committing to the Buffs. Big get for CU, William, uh, both in terms of him being a talented tight end, but a you know, prospect with a lot of Power 5 options and an in-state guy, you know, which is always uh, makes you feel good. Well, and he's big and he can run, and he, he's just such an exciting pickup, you know. And to me, following up after Christian – or after um, – Fourier last year uh, that, that it just really shows me that we're loading up with NFL sized NFL type um, tight ends again we're at a position that we've just totally neglected for years and now we're all of a sudden getting these guys and I think Olsen's every bit as good as Fourier and I think he's every bit as good as the other guy other three top recruits in the state as well you know, I was counting up his P5, or Power 5 offers, and Olsen has, by my count, I could be wrong, I, I counted 18, and they're kind of a who's who. He's got CU, Nebraska, Notre Dame, Stanford, Washington, uh, Auburn was in there, Utah, Okie State, Tennessee. I mean, just all over the country, people are looking at this kid. And, you know, he plays on the same team as uh, Terrence Ferguson, who's committed to Oregon. So people were coming in. My take on it was that everybody was coming to look at Ferguson because he was hotter sooner. Everybody was looking at him and was going, wait a minute, who's that guy? Because to me, uh, Olsen looks better on the film than Ferguson does. It looked like he was going to pick UCLA just a few weeks ago, and CU did a great job. Taylor Embry's bought, brought a lot of energy uh, right. to the recruiting trail already, um, and, and so you got to be optimistic about uh, the, the future of that position. Uh, you mentioned his teammate Terrence Ferguson committed to Oregon. There are four in-state tight end recruits this cycle that are being really heavily recruited. Sam Hart actually committed also already to Ohio State. Right. You've got Gunnar Helm. From Cherry Creek, he's still weighing his options. He's got a ton of Power 5 schools after him. It's got to be the deepest tight end class Colorado's produced. And last year, Cole Taylor was a national recruit as well. I don't know. It's always been a state that's produced a lot of offensive line. And maybe offensive tight, it's becoming a, a tight end state now as well. But uh, kind of crazy, I wanted, isn't it? Yeah. I wanted to get your, your comparison with Eric Olson compared to those other guys, Ferguson, Hart, and Gunnar Helm. Well, it's not always easy to make those kinds of comparisons in high school, you know, because tight ends don't get used a whole lot. Um, it's curious to kind of watch Olson's video and you see Ferguson in there. And I don't want to talk down about an, an, another kid, but I got to tell you, out, out of the four guys, Olson, I think maybe excites me out of out of all out of all of them, maybe the most uh, in terms of his his long term um, possibilities. And and as we go through the film, and I give you some plays you know I, I made a I made a, I just kind of made notes throughout here uh and I want to challenge anybody watch this whole film and count the number of guys that he steamrolls and just just runs right over him I mean it, it you know as an offensive line defensive line guy I I was it was I was loving it, it was beautiful and I said at the end you know I'm, I'm watching this video and I keep at the end there's three or four minutes of him blocking and uh I, I made a note. I said I, I could go on and on. The last few minutes of the tape was him just mugging, mugging guys out there. You know, it, it's. It, I, I made a note. I was like it's kind of, be, kind of beautiful in a sick sort of a way. Uh, but he's very complete tight end, uh, which, you know, I'm not sure that I'm not sure that that uh, I would say Hart and Ferguson are so much. I think uh, they use Olson at Heritage as a blocker much more than Ferguson. Um, and, and he's very good at it. He's very physical. He loves to be, he, he just, one thing that jumps out at me from his film is he likes to hit, he likes to hit people. And uh, whether it's blocking or running the ball or whatever, but he's also got some wiggle and some shiftiness to make people miss. So I think he compares very well with all these guys. Um, I would not be a bit surprised if five years down the road, he doesn't end up being the best of the four. What specific plays really jumped off the, the, the film when you, you went through there and, you know, took a deep dive on Eric Olson? Well, you know, the first thing that, that kind of stood out to me, I was looking at his stats. And remember, he plays on the same team as Ferguson. And in the last two years, he's got 53 catches and 11 t touchdowns, which is pretty phenomenal for a tight end being the, you know, primary target on a team, much less with another tight end there. But uh, the other thing I noticed, the, from photographs he's very lean uh at 6'5 230 he's got a lot of room to put on weight 
I mean, I think he's going to be a guy that easily easily plays at 260 or more with super athleticism. So uh, at the 27 second mark, he's split wide to the right, and in this play, you really see how well he runs in his body control. He just runs right past a much smaller guy, shows very good hands, and you're going to see throughout the film with Olsen, he's got beautiful hands. He doesn't need a perfect throw. He's making all these catches behind him, and there's a one-handed catch, and there's one that's way out here, and he gets it with his fingertips. So he's really got beautiful hands. Um, at 38 second mark, he split wide again. This time he kind of goes across the middle, and the defender's all over him, got a hand in his face, and he still catches the ball away from his body with soft hands and then just accelerates away from everybody. So one thing that stands out to me from Olsen, I saw this in at least a couple plays, he's got super acceleration. He's already running, and then he just hits another gear and leaves everybody behind, which is what you're looking for for a blue chip kid. Um, in the, at the 52nd mark, he kind of comes into the picture late. He makes a really beautiful, reaching, nice one-handed catch. Um, at the 103 mark, he's lined up at a wing, does a little soft release into the flat, shows nice body control and soft hands, and just runs over a kid. Um, he has a lot of mean in him. I mean, he kind of plays tight end, a little bit like an offensive tackle. Uh, at the 122 mark, he catches a ball that's thrown behind him. He reaches back and he gets it. Uh, again, shows that hands and body control. And then he shows a little wiggle, making a guy miss, and then runs over the rest of the guys. And then at 145, he kind of takes four pass out in the flat. And and I had to watch it over and over. It's almost like like the the film sped up. His acceleration was incredible. It was unbelievable. Uh, once he got that ball in his hands, just ran right through any, everybody. And then starting at the 232 mark, there's a bunch of blocking plays, and it's just one after another. At, at 257, he's at the goal line play, co combos off the defensive tackle, and then comes off and pancakes the will linebacker in the end zone. Uh, I wrote, oh, my, next to that one. Um, and then there's a 308 outside release, blocks the Sam linebacker, and kind of runs him 20 yards downfield and ragdolls him. And then... The play that really stood out to me is uh, at the 318 mark, there's a play, it's a, it's, a, it's a sweep to the right, and he's on the left. He's blocking the backside. I mean, his block almost doesn't matter, right? And he takes this kid and he drives him 10 yards down the field and just buries him in the end zone. I mean, I you know the kid probably should have filed a police report. And, again, what stands out to me is, you know, a lot of guys, when that play is going the other way, are not going to give you that effort. And he did. And, and I love that about this guy because he just doesn't take plays off. And then finally, uh, um, 323 mark, he knocks a kid on his butt. And the kid tries to get up and then he just buries him. It's kind of like, stay down when I, t when I knock you down. And, you know, it just goes on and on from the, the, the last part of the film is just him blocking. And this, this is why I think he's such a standout amongst the four tight ends in state is, is all, all the – blocking that he does that's so good and he's such a good receiver he's just a really complete tight end really a weapon so i wouldn't trade this kid for any tight end in the country all right huge get for taylor taylor embry and the buffaloes eric olson has committed to cu and that's our breakdown of his game